I, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to intrude. Oh, no, you're not. I just, I just finished giving Reed his lunch. Come on in. You know, it must be so nice having him close like that, huh? Yeah, I tell you, I do not know what I would do if Newman didn't have a daycare in the building. Oh, look at you. You know what, I brought you those figures you asked for. The, um, sales for a beauty of nature line have dropped considerably. Yeah, I know. A lot of problems were caused by Adam changing the name. I think it just confused <clears throat> the consumers. Well, I'm hoping that Newman Infinity will just fade from people's minds and it will be a temporary glitch. I wish I had better news for you. It's okay. It's not your fault. You know, I need to have this distributed and I have to call Neil. Okay. Um. Oh, would you mind holding him? Uh, sure. Oh, great. Okay. All right, come here, cutie. <laughs> Mom will be right back. I'll be right back, okay? Be right back. What's up? <laughs> you wow. Smell, do you? <laughs> You're a natural. Oh, you know what? I love kids. I just forgot how much until Anna was living with Neil. Here, I'll take him. Oh, no, no, it's okay. It's all right. Really? Yeah. So you and Anna, uh, you were close, huh? Because yeah, I really, I hated to see her leave. You ever think about having your own children someday? Well, time to time, I do. Yeah. Well, you know, now that you and Neil are living together again. Oh. <laughs> no, I don't think so. No? Yeah. No, because really you look really comfortable with him. Yeah. Wow. Is it Neil? No. Neil's a born father. I... It's okay if you don't want to talk about it. You know, actually, I, I, I wouldn't mind. Well, and I am very honored that you would share it with me. Yeah, this is hard. Um, it's okay. Take your time. I made a decision a long time ago not to have children. Are you regretting it? No. Because I really believe deep in my heart that I shouldn't have them. So, why do you feel like you shouldn't have kids? I lost my mom when I was 12 to ovarian cancer. I'm sorry. It was a, a long and devastating illness. You know, and I found out later that I carry the same gene, which means that there's a good chance I could get it. I mean, the anticipation alone is, it's torture. I really can't even imagine. So I'm afraid if I have a child, I wouldn't be there to raise her, or that I would pass on the gene. Yeah. Does Neil know? He knows, he knows some of it. I think it's very noble of you giving up motherhood. Oh, hello, ladies. Are you okay? Yes, we're fine. We're just commiserating about the drop-off in business. I don't worry about that. We will bounce back. We'll oh, bounce back. Baby. I'm going to take Bubba to the nursery. Okay. nothing to say to Adam's girlfriend. It's about your father. And what happened between him and this man in Mexico. See, I, I couldn't get a straight answer from your mom, so I came to talk to you. Tell me what you know. My father was in Mexico, yes, but he's been back for a couple of weeks, and... And he's disappeared again. Yes. Right. Well, the Mexican authorities would very much like to speak with him. About this guy. Who is he? I really wish you and your family would stop covering for Victor. I have no idea what you're talking about right now. Oh, well, uh, ask your mom. She knows all about Mexico. What is there to know? Like I said, talk to your mom. Oh, and uh, do me a favor. Tell her she should cooperate if she knows what's good for her. 